What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Apple's long-awaited AirTag. However, before we get started, there are definitely a few very important things to talk about. Like most Apple products nowadays that get released, like the HomePod Mini for instance, with this you need to be on iOS 14.5 in order to get it to function. The problem with this is if you got to iOS 14.3 recently via the 90 day enterprise thing, obviously you probably don't want to forfeit your brand new jailbreak just so you can use this. And that of course is something Apple didn't tell you. Another thing too is there's no way to charge this up via lightning or anything. It uses a regular watch battery. You should get around a year standard of battery life for this thing, but if you need to replace it, you just push down and twist and it pops off and then you can go and replace this watch battery. Anyway, let's get into the unboxing. I have Belkin's third party secure holder with key ring accessory, and then I have the AirTag itself. Feels really weird to keep saying AirTag, we've known them for the last several years as AirTags, but I guess it works. Now, this is one of Apple's least expensive product categories in a really long time, clocking in at $29.99. However, for a 4-pack, it's $100, so that's pretty expensive. Taking the sticker off of the box, you can see now we should be able to open it. Opening the packaging, you can see we have our regular health and safety stuff, and now we get to the good stuff. Opening this package, you can see the AirTag is inside. To someone that maybe isn't familiar with iOS and how to pair up these devices, the inside pamphlet also gives you instructions on how to set it up. Next, we have our Belkin Secure Holder with Keyring, and this is a lot less expensive than Apple's first party option, clocking in at only $12.95. Apple's keyring is just as much as a singular AirTag. So for one AirTag, if you want the first party option, you're going to be paying at least 60 bucks. However though, theirs is leather and this one is plastic, so I guess there's a difference in materials, but for me personally, I don't think it makes sense to really spend that much money. So of course, here's the AirTag itself. It's pretty nice and it looks how you would expect it to look. Now we peel off the plastic. And once we do, the AirTag comes to life. Now bringing our iPhone up to the AirTag, as long as you're on 14.5 or later, you will see a pop-up saying AirTag. I can go ahead and hit connect, and then I can choose whatever I wanna name the AirTag. So we're gonna go ahead and do keys. This pop-up is asking me if I wanna to switch to my iPhone 11 to enable more features, but unfortunately, because I'm on 14.3, I can't do that right now. So we're gonna go ahead and pair it up to the iPhone 6S. Once we do, it gives us some prompts telling us that we can ask Siri for different things and we can also play a sound. So putting the AirTag in Belkin's keyring accessory is pretty easy. All you have to do is just put it in there and then of course it just snaps together. And there we go. There's a more affordable way to have an AirTag. In order to use an AirTag, you need to have an iPhone 6S or later. And on top of that, unfortunately, unless you have an iPhone 11 or later, you cannot use precision finding. That feature does exactly what it sounds like and lets you find your items with more exact precision. And like I said, unfortunately, is unavailable for older devices. Funny enough, while I was shooting this video, I couldn't find my keys, so I used my bag as the next best thing. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to go through this forever because everyone's already seen this stuff, so it's nothing new. So here's my general overview and thoughts of AirTag thus far. I haven't had it for very long as I'm recording this video. I think it's pretty cool and from an Apple enthusiast standpoint, I definitely could see a potential use case for this, whether it's my keys or bag or something like that. If I'm out and about, this will be very useful to have. But that's the funny thing, isn't it? And I think that's why AirTag got delayed for so long. A lot of people because of the current world situation are not really traveling or going out as much and things are starting to open back up and become more normal. So now people might find themselves in the position where they would need something like this again. But for me personally, for right now, I don't have a giant use case for this. So if you're like me and you don't have a giant use case for this right now and you also are on 14.3 and you don't wanna sacrifice your jailbreak, I would say, you know, just hold off for now. It's 30 bucks, so it's relatively cheap, obviously in Apple standards, and you know, it's gonna be around and I think it's probably only gonna get better as time goes on. And yes, from what I've tested so far, it seems to be pretty accurate. 
All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. And also, go ahead and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you never miss out on a brand new upload. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.